everyone what's up and welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be a productive day in my life i just feel like i have so much to do and there's not enough hours in the day so i thought i would take you guys through a productive day in my life i already had one copy i've been editing and writing my planner for the last little bit i did go to the grocery store as well because i needed to get some counter spray um i'm on to my second cup of coffee it's really hot right now though so i'm gonna let it cool down a bit and i did make my breakfast because i was starving I have to go down to the gym in probably like an hour or so after I eat. I was really craving a bagel. So when I was at the grocery store, I picked up um, a fresh bagel. So it's an onion bagel. And then there's some light fat cream cheese, whipped cream cheese, a little bit of arugula, one egg, one strip of turkey bacon, and balsamic glaze. I know it sounds kind of weird, but I just wanted a bagel and I kind of went with like what i had oh i kind of burnt oh yolk totally just popped everywhere i don't know if you can see but there is yolk all over the plate now but stunning wow i did burn the bagel slightly though my oven has been like all messed up recently i'm sitting on my floor again because the moving process everything is just a jumbled up mess in my apartment this is the only calm corner within my whole place i feel like everything else is just a disaster finally at least put my contacts in i'm getting ready to head down to the gym i definitely am gonna need an energy drink on my walk over because i feel like i could sleep for like 36 hours straight right now i am so tired i do want to thank today's video sponsor which is glow mode i'm so excited to be working with them in today's video i got to pick out a ton of cute workout gear and i've been so excited to share with you guys i've also been really excited to try it all on so i can finally try it on now that i'm filming this video i'm gonna have all of these products linked down below the quality of everything is so good like just touching it so far it all feels really really nice so i'm excited to work out in some of this stuff today first piece i have right here is the air plush wrap long sleeve crop top this is so cute it has it's hard to tell but it has you guys will see when i'm trying it on a little like crisscross like a wrap detailing in the front right here this quality is so good the fabric is so soft but the best part about this air plush material is it's lightweight it's sweat wicking but it's perfect for the winter when you want to stay warm it is almost like a brush fabric so it's going to give you added warmth while also being breathable and sweat proof it's like an oxymoron but somehow it all works together i'm always looking for good long sleeve workout tops i'm more comfortable in something long sleeve so i'm definitely excited to work out in this soon because i feel like it's going to be a new staple in my wardrobe i'll leave all of my sizes down below as well because i don't remember exactly what size i got in everything but i'll leave it down below for reference for you guys next piece is probably my favorite in this whole haul i cannot wait to wear this i feel like i'm gonna wear this today it is the most adorable crop top look at this red this is so cute and i love um a high neck kind of cut like this i think it's pretty flattering on like my top half of my body whenever i see tops like this i gravitate towards them i just love the detailing of the black and the red it's really striking but like not too in your face of a bright color like it's just the perfect amount of flashy again the material feels so nice it's thick but also very stretchy very breathable i feel like i'm really gonna like the way that this looks on if i wear that top to the gym today i'm probably gonna wear these leggings these are just like the perfect black legging again super super stretchy these ones actually have pockets on the side which is really nice for if you're walking outside or running or doing any type of activity where you don't want to be like holding things in your hands while you're working out if you look on the back it has the glow mode logo right here and it has almost like a like the scoop of the seam goes down which i love on leggings if it's in kind of like a v on your butt i find that that is the most flattering personally versus just like a square t line when it's in kind of like the v it's a lot more flattering just to describe the fabric i just read on this tag this is going to help me describe it to you guys this is the feather fit fabric it's super soft buttery fabric four-way stretch not see-through and it's sweat wicking i definitely feel like i'm gonna wear these today because they feel very soft like very high quality leggings I have a little matching set this is 
the sports bra first. This is a very interesting cut. You can see it's almost like the high neck that I was talking about with the red and black one, but then it also has more of a traditional cut sports bra on top of it. It's like dual layered, but I love the brown and the black. I feel like a lot of people would really like this. I can't wait to try this on and see how this looks because this is unlike anything else that I own. And the sports bras do come with pads as well if you guys um, like to have pads in your sports bras. Honestly, I'm like 50-50 on it. Some days I like to have them in and some days I don't. It just kind of depends, I think, on like what workouts I'm doing. The sports bra is super cute and it's in the same feather fit fabric. So the same as those black leggings I just showed you guys. So it's super, super buttery. It literally feels like the nicest sports bras that I own. And then here are the matching leggings for the sports bra. I just showed you guys these ones have just like simple coloring, a little bit of brown and black, brown stitching, a little stitching on the back as well, a little added detail to make it more exciting. These ones have a nice thick waistband if you want something that isn't going to slide down. I can tell that this is just gonna stay up really well so these seem really nice put it into the brown and black together i feel like it looks very interesting and again these are like very different styles and silhouettes that i'm used to but i love them okay this sports bra also goes with the leggings i got two sports bras that are very similar this one is the same as the um black and red top but this one is brown and black just kind of reversed color so instead of it being a ton of black with a little bit of brown as you can see, it's a ton of brown with a little bit of black. Again, this top just looks so flattering. It's very lightweight, but I can also tell that the quality is so good. Like, look at how stretchy it is. That's what I like in workout clothes. I like things that are very stretchy and comfortable and you don't feel like confined. I definitely can tell just from touching these already that I'm really gonna like them. Glow Mode has the nicest fabric. Like, everything is just so soft okay next up these are another pair of black leggings but these ones are a little bit different these are called the glow mode pedal pusher 26 inch leggings you can see on the bottom they actually have little i believe these are called stirrups right where they you put your foot you know through and it goes underneath your foot so these run for two sizes fits most and they have a super stretchy four-way stretch fabric so they really do stretch out a lot they're actually infused with what's called lycra fibers which is going to make it super stretchy and super comfortable on your skin and when you're working out it's just going to feel kind of like a second skin and these also have a fleece line on the inside so they're going to keep you warm in the winter these are great for if you're doing a little bit of outdoor workouts or if you're like me and you walk to the gym these are great to keep you nice and warm and the great thing about these stirrups is that it's going to stay down the leggings aren't going to ride up at all so so if you wear like high socks like I do a lot of the times, it's nice because you don't have to worry about the leggings and the socks kind of separating. That's one of my biggest pet peeves. And these also have mesh pockets on the side, which are super cute. Definitely would fit a phone, keys, whatever you want to hold in here. There are mesh pockets on the side, which is always nice to have. And the waistband, you can tell on these, is not going anywhere. Like this is definitely going to stay up and not roll down. And it has, again, on the back, a very flattering back shape almost like an M shape so it's gonna make your butt look really good and lastly I have three pairs of matching leggings just in different colors I love all the colors that I got and these feel so nice again first we have this maroon pair I think this color is so good and I don't own anything like this these are actually the same leggings as those black ones I originally showed you guys just in a bunch of fun colors I will get so much use out of these, so buttery soft, it's unreal. I try to get colors that I don't already own, so I definitely don't have a gray like this. I feel like I have darker grays and kind of like a blue gray, but nothing that's like a true medium toned gray. So I'm excited to wear these as well. I feel like this color and just like gray in general is really flattering on your body. So I can't wait to try these on and see how they look. I've seen so many people wear this color leggings lately. So I'm finally gonna join the club and have a pair for myself. The very last thing from Glow Mode in this haul is this blue pair of leggings. I don't own any navy leggings like this, but these are so cute. I literally can't get over how soft the fabric is. Like it just feels like a second skin almost. And like I said, that's exactly what I like in my leggings is for them to just be very comfortable, very soft, very 
form-fitting to the body but nothing too crazy form-fitting so I feel like I'm really gonna like these that is everything for my haul from glow mode I got so many goodies thank you so much to them for sending all of those my way i'm gonna leave links down below to all the products that i showed in case you guys are interested i'm really into activewear recently and just getting some new pieces it's been really fun so if you guys are looking to treat yourselves to some new stuff definitely check out the description box down below and thank you to glow mode for sponsoring today's video i'm all dressed and ready to go to the gym i'm not even gonna lie to you guys this is me being fully transparent i put on my like comfy house clothes like a big comfy t-shirt and some sweatpants and i almost sat on the couch because i was like i just don't think i can do it but i told myself i watched a tiktok of someone going to the gym and i was like yeah i should i should go so here i am going you never regret a workout right i'm gonna fill up my water because i'm gonna do my strength training and my pilates both at once because I'm doing a Pilates challenge and then I strength train Monday through Friday. I check them both off at once because yesterday I did Pilates like early in the morning and then I did strength training late at night and it was too much. It took too much time out of my day. So I'm gonna bang them both out right now. First, there's like no water in the Brita. I ended up going with what I said I was gonna wear to the gym from Glow Mode, this red and black stitched sports bra. Super cute, I just threw over like a, a black zip up plain black zip ups so that way i'm not cold i love this sports bra it's so cute and then the leggings are the first pair of black ones that i showed you guys they're just like buttery soft and i do like how they have pockets so fun I'm gonna bring my vest because it's been extra cold out recently it just snowed let me refill the brita so that way i don't regret this later It has been a minute since I touched base on this fitness vlog. As you can tell by the background, we are in a new location. New location unlocked. You guys, we are in my new kitchen. This is gonna be the backgrounds that you will start to see in all of my videos for this channel. Whenever I'm cooking and anything, this is where we're gonna be. I am obsessed with this kitchen. I thought I wasn't gonna like it because of the countertops not being my style. And we have a smaller fridge, if you can see 
over there it's a, it's not one of like the big normal size fridges it's one of the smaller ones i didn't think i was gonna like it because of those little things but i am obsessed the lighting in here it's kind of getting later in the day it's currently 5 40 but the lighting in here during the day is so much better you guys will see in upcoming what i eat in a day videos how good it is there's just so much more counter space i like a lot of the appliances that i have overall just a really good kitchen that i'm so excited to cook more in i actually just made yesterday some burrito tacos um if you want to see that recipe definitely not healthy but if you want to see how i made that definitely go follow my channel molly's life i also did like an empty apartment tour over there i have been filming and will continue to film all the organization stuff and decorating and all of that fun stuff that goes on with moving that is involved in moving i'm gonna be filming all of that over on my molly's life channel i'm trying to upload weekly vlogs every sunday definitely go check out that channel if you aren't subscribed over there yet and you want to see more of the behind the scenes but i wanted to end off this video on a fun note i have not done a grocery shop in i don't even know how long it's been honestly since i found out i was moving i don't think i've done like a full grocery shop because i knew that whatever i bought i would have to move over here and my fridge and my pantry here are pretty much empty they're not empty but like they don't have a lot of the essentials so i went a little crazy this time at the grocery store i'm going to share everything with you in this video to end off this vlog because who doesn't love like the first official grocery shop in a new place when you have to get like all the fun things bagger puts a lot of this stuff very shoved into bags so things are falling apart but i'm just gonna go through in no particular order these do have to go in the freezer though so i'll probably put them in right now i've never had these before specifically but i like this brand nyx um, it's like a swedish ice cream but they're all low calorie so these are strawberry swirl bars there's only one gram net carbs i don't really care about that but there's only 50 calories per bar so i want to try one of these maybe tonight i have a really big sweet tooth at night so i need things like this in my freezer so i don't go overboard right okay, now i don't think i got any other freezer stuff i got some fresh strawberries i have a bunch of yogurts that i want to use up and i thought i should add like some fresh fruit to them i got more fresh fruit i forget what else i got um i got an ultimate caesar salad kit we love a caesar salad around here and I got a ton of salmon, I believe. I'm like blanking on what I got, but um, I like having salmon Caesar salad, so that will be good. I got a bunch of asparagus. Love asparagus so much. I could eat this entire thing just on its own. Three bananas because this kitchen just like screams cooking and baking. Like there's, like I said, so much counter space, so much cabinet space. I like the appliances, everything. I just want to like cook and bake in here so much more. So I got some bananas. I'm going to let these ripen up and I can make some banana bread probably by like this weekend, which will be fun. More things of garlic. I've been using fresh garlic a lot recently and I've been loving it. And tomorrow I want to make these tacos with like an avocado crema. You guys will see it in a what I eat a day video, but I want to make that so I needed some more fresh garlic for that. I got so many veggies, so I got one red bell pepper. I also think I'm going to be making this week some buffalo chicken stuffed peppers. So that will be really good and that's why I got a red bell pepper for that. I got two tomatoes for if I make some pico. I think it's helpful if I tell you guys why I got everything because grocery shopping can be kind of intimidating and sometimes you don't know like what to get. It gets overwhelming and then you will end up home with all these things that like don't even go together, you know what I'm saying? So anyways, got some green onion. I love green onion, putting this on so many different things in my pico and then also I'm gonna add it to the buffalo chicken stuffed bell peppers. So that will be really good. Got three avocados. Guys, I can barely afford to go grocery shopping anymore. Things are getting out of hand. Since when are avocados $2.50 a piece? That is just so insane to me. And like, you know what else? I got iced coffee. I don't know where it is, but I got iced coffee. And I normally get the um, Starbucks blonde roast iced coffee for when I feel like having an iced coffee, right? I don't have it all the time, but just like once in a while. So I like to have it in my fridge. Tell me why the Starbucks coffee, iced coffee is $9. I remember when they first started coming out with that, it was like five, maybe $4.99 or $4.69 or something like that. Now it is 
9.50. What? Some turkey bacon. I have been missing having my turkey bacon with my eggs in the morning. I also got some granola. I love this brand, the Bob's Red Mill. I've had a lot of their granola recently and it's really good. So this is the maple sea salt. I got that to have in my yogurt parfaits. Speaking of yogurt parfaits, I also got some blueberries. So the blueberries and the strawberries will be like my fresh fruits for the week. Or the buffalo chicken stuffed peppers. I got some mozzarella and I'll probably just use this on various things, you know, throughout the week. I also got a little thing of broccoli. I love broccoli and I love making like little chicken veggie and rice bowls with a little bit of lime juice, hot sauce on top. So good and so easy. I wish you guys could talk to me and let me know that my cats were on the counter. Lazy Girl in me loves these since they are a microwavable. I love steamed like really soft broccoli. So I love to microwave it and then saute it for a little bit longer and it's just perfect. I've been meaning to buy this for so long and I kept forgetting the Boathouse Farms Classic Ranch. This stuff is so good. Tastes like regular ranch and it's like way less calories. It's 50 calories per serving versus like the normal ranch. I don't even know what it is, but it's a lot higher than that. I got some Classico four cheese pasta sauce. I was gonna get the Rayos one, but again, it was just like breaking the bank. I'm like, oh my God, this is already so expensive as is. I don't need a $10 pasta sauce. Um, Sugar-free maple syrup. This is good for like oatmeal. You could add it to yogurt parfaits. I like to have this with, um, what do they call Like the Kodiak or Kodak cake. You know what I'm talking about, the protein waffles. If you add a little bit of this to it with some butter, delicious. Last thing in that bag, another thing that I really needed is some olive oil spray. I only have like a full bottle of it right now and I tend to over pour, so it's nice to have a spray for little things like eggs and stuff like that. I forgot that I got this. Wait, I'm so excited. I got a rotisserie chicken. It's kind of cold now, but I did get a rotisserie chicken. I love rotisserie chicken. I think I'm going to use this for the buffalo um, chicken peppers. I keep wanting to say buffalo chicken sweet potato. Buffalo chicken peppers. I'm going to use this because it's just already easy to like shred and stuff. Okay, this bag is all the drinks. So here's the coffee that I chose. Crazy that the Califia Farms brand was cheaper than the Starbucks one because this is like an organic, nice brand. But I got their cold brew medium roast for when I'm feeling like iced coffees. I also got my favorite creamer. This is so sick, but this is my favorite creamer, the Duncan Extra Extra. Nothing compares to it. It just tastes so good and it's so simple. And it goes with like if you have different coffee flavors or like different Nespresso pods like it just goes with all of it so I got that that's my like guilty pleasure you guys know prop 50 Tropicana no pulp 50% uh, less sugar basically just less sugar orange juice I've been seeing a lot of girlies on gym talk on TikTok. they have been using orange juice with vanilla protein powder and ice and i've been wanting to try it for so long so i'm gonna try that this week because i really need to start having my protein shakes again so i got that to motivate me to do it and then the last thing in that bag is the califia farms almond milk this is just their unsweetened vanilla i like to have this in basically everything but like my coffee my oatmeal all good stuff very last bag i told you guys i got a lot of stuff this is probably my biggest grocery haul i've done in a minute so lately every morning i've been having a bagel and i've been having just plain bagels with cream cheese i don't know why i was feeling like sweet bagels so i got the cinnamon raisin bagels um love a good bagel you can do like half of one or the full one delicious and then i also got some bread this is my favorite bread but we're pushing it again what is with the inflation on groceries this bread is 850 panera what are you doing it's so good but like i if you keep raising the price i can't justify it anymore um the sourdough bread from panera so good it's a big loaf too so i guess they can justify the price because it is a lot of slices that you have to go through and then the very last things that i have are the meats at the bottom so i got a pound of salmon 
it's in here i promise um haven't had salmon in a minute but it sounded so good on a caesar salad or like in like i said like a rice veggie bowl i love salmon all right oh i was thinking i was gonna make some salmon tacos as well and then i got some chicken this is like two pounds of chicken tenderloins so that is everything in my grocery haul that was a lot of stuff to go through hopefully i didn't bore you guys but i needed so many groceries and i know you guys normally like grocery hauls so hopefully you enjoyed i definitely am excited to have all this food i've been door dashing so much over the past like month of just not fully committing to buying groceries i totally forgot to say i got a red onion i'm just realizing and a green bell pepper as well i don't even think i mentioned that in the haul there's just too much stuff here i'm not used to it but hopefully you guys enjoyed today's fitness vlog thank you to glow mode for sponsoring today's video you guys definitely need to go check out all of those pieces that i showed everything is so cute and i'm not even joking it is so soft like insanely soft so thank you to them for sponsoring today's video hopefully you guys are excited for the new era in this kitchen i love it here and you guys will see in upcoming videos how good the lighting is like mid morning i'm south facing so the light just pours in all day long it's incredible but i'm gonna go i'm gonna put all this stuff away and just enjoy having a fully stocked fridge i love you guys so much and i will talk to you in my next video very soon bye